Hi everybody, welcome to today's inspirational pills. Many a times I meet people who tend to talk to me about their very deep secrets, um, issues that or experiences that they've gone through which are quiet or very sensitive and these are not people I know from Adam or people I've known for years. Many a times there are people I'm meeting for the first time. I don't know if it's a gift or it's a talent. But they tell me and like some would say, I don't even know why I told you. And then I encourage them and I pray for them. When I pray for them and I get further clearance or revelations and I share with them and I encourage them to go on a journey together. Today my message is quite brief. I believe being an intercessor is a very good place to be. People do not look like what they've been through because of the grace of God. People do not look like what they've been through because of what I have seen and experienced personally and myself inclusive I don't look like it and so God laid this on my heart to continue to be an intercessor rather than accuser rather than being an accuser it is good to be an intercessor and based on the teachings that I've heard from men of God one thing that is evident is that we need to be intercessors like the church or the body of Christ we've been called to intercede for one another the church like some put it as a hospital people come for healing in various ways angles aspects forms now you may not understand um, somebody's um, reaction to certain things and so the long and short of it is that people come to church for perfection people in church are not perfect they come to church for perfection many a times people are quick to judge people are, people are quick to judge they are quick to accuse, quick to put people in boxes. And if those people do not fit in their boxes, then they don't belong per their descriptions and standards. I remember scripture when the P um, people were accusing the woman who had committed adultery to the extent that they were just pushing Jesus to say something by putting down Moses' law. And so the woman who had committed adultery was accused by many. The verse 6 said they were trying to let Jesus say something so that they can use it against them. And Jesus took down to write in the dust. And they still kept demanding. And so he, he got up and he said that if you think you haven't sinned, then anyone who hasn't sinned should cast the first stone. And the accusers went one after the other. And so Jesus was left with the woman. Jesus said, where are your accusers? So you can see that accusers do not last. They do not keep law. They bring curses upon their, themselves, like Miriam, Miriam and Aaron. Let me put it that way. Even though Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Kushite, his Kushite wife, or his European wife, or woman. And what happened was that Miriam was the only one inflicted with leprosy. At some Bible says at some point that Aaron felt some kind of guilt after he had done that. And he being a priest, he was even the one that told, you know, Miriam that this is what has been said and that you'll be cast out of the camp for seven days. Even though Moses cried out for his accusers or for his accuser, he cried out when um, that pronouncement was made on Miriam. But God said, no, he should go through it. And then later, after the seven days, he can, she can be brought back. If you are not careful, there is a curse attached to being an accuser. There is a curse or curses attached to being an accuser. 
and I spoke in a message about Job losing a lot in a twinkling of an eye and was restored. When you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, you realize that he prayed for his friends. The Bible says that Job prayed for his friends or he interceded for his friends and he was restored. When you are an intercessor, you get restored of the things you've even lost. You get restored of the things that you do not have. You get restored of many things. When you are, and being an intercessor, it's a good place to be. Because being an intercessor brings a lot of blessings. And scripture has also said that Satan was described by the Jews. That he is an accuser of the brethren. In other words, if you are an accuser, you are being used by Satan. Or you are an, you are an agent of Satan. Without you even knowing, consciously or unconsciously, you are an agent of Satan. You are working for Satan. If you are an accuser, if you choose to be an accuser, it's a choice. You can choose to be an intercessor. You can choose to be an accuser. In the same vein, you can choose a blessing and choose a curse. So being an intercessor brings blessings. But when you choose to be an accuser, you will rain curses upon your life. Be blessed and highly favored. Hi everybody, I'm Pebbles and I'm an inspirational speaker, a coach and a teacher by calling and I'm from Ghana. I hope you were blessed by today's message. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels Win The Soul Foundation and Inspirational Pills TV all on YouTube. If you like the message, you can smash the like button and you can also comment let's know your comment on the messages and we are so excited to meet you and to talk to you remember you are a royal priesthood a holy nation and a person chosen by god